Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I have interior designer Dorian Bolick, and he's here with Red Door Living. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Well, so what are the design trends that you're starting to see these days? Well, we're going to start seeing a return to color. For so long, we've had gray and white and the whole farmhouse feel. Uh, it's been lovely, it's been a wonderful ride, but it's time to start introducing color back into our houses. Even if you are scared of color, if that's the idea of something more than a white, whites you're gonna start seeing having some tint of color, soft blushes, a little bit of blue and green, just to temper that cold hardness of a gray and white. The second direction in color that we're seeing is return to soft pastels with a dustier tone. So we're not talking about the Southwest howling coyote. Okay, good. No more 90s. No, okay. none of that. No, no cactuses in our living rooms again. Okay. Uh, none of that, but it is much more organic and earthy in okay. its direction. And the third are saturated colors. So deep blues and beautiful deep peacock greens and deep royal velvets. Uh, those are all ways to, to update your home and also know that that's the direction we're going to be heading. Okay, great. Now, is furniture seeing a similar kind of transition as well? Yes. Uh, we're getting away from the very tailored, very hard-edged pieces that we've been seeing for a long time. Uh, you can see it in stores like CB2 or Crate and Barrel or even Pottery Barn. Things are getting much more rounded much softer edged. We, the world's so hard out there and we want something softer in our interiors. And it's very much reflected in what we're, what we're seeing in product. Uh, there's also a transition now from what was mid-century to more of a 70s flavor of mid-century. So whip out those platform shoes and those share wigs because you're going to see curves and brass and all sorts of wonderful things that are much more inviting and comfortable to sit on. Okay, great. We always like being comfortable. Always. Your home <laughs> should be about comfort. Right, right. And space-wise, what changes have you seen over the last couple of years? Well, certainly with the whole COVID thing that we went through when we were stuck at home and on top of each other, great rooms, for example, were so big for so long, having that big, massive open space. But when we were all stuck at home together, we started looking for that special corner to hide away or get our own space. And so interiors are gonna start returning to that. Not that we're gonna walk away from the great room. Everybody's party ends up in the kitchen anyway, so we might as well embrace that. That's who we are. Right. But we still need that special space for ourselves. And that we'll start seeing more of in architecture and in spaces. Oh, great, okay. Now, if somebody wants to update their home, what should they not do? Well, painting your home, the easiest, the easiest makeover, as we all know, is to repaint a room or the entire space. But the biggest number one mistake people do is to test paint colors on their walls. Don't do that. It makes an absolute mess of your walls and it doesn't give you the actual sense of what a real color is going to look like. Do yourself a favor, pop over to the arts and crafts store, get yourself some white foam core board and do your paint samples on that. Always do your testers with paint. Many of the paint stores offer free samples, so take advantage of that and be sure to look at the color both during the day and at night because color is affected by light and it also is infected by your own personal interior. So be sure to check both of those out and be certain that you love the color before tackling an entire wall. Great tip, great tip. Definitely makes a lot of sense. And what are some things that people can do that is easy that they can give themselves a refresh on their home right now? Lighting, we loved updating lighting. Larger, the better. For so long, lighting has been talked about as far as scale in a room. Your typical, for example, a dining room, if it was 10 by 12, the rule of thumb was you add those two numbers together and that gives you 22 inches and that should be the size of your fixture. Not anymore. Go oversized, go a little bit bigger. Think of it as sculpture for your ceiling. Make it fun, make it whimsical. It's an easy change. And also, please, 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 there are other places than Home Depot to look for lighting. There are wonderful online products, online catalogs. Take a look at them. Bring something into your house. If it's not right, 
in our wonderful modern world, you can just ship it back and get the one that works for you. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing. And if someone wants to get a hold of you, how should they reach out to you? You can reach us either through our website at www.reddoorlivinglb.com or you can reach out also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for watching. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. If you have any questions for us, you can reach us at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching.